we are looking at a best of three series starting out on new repugnancy. We have in the top right corner of the map. It's a blue Protoss player already setting up his wall quite forward down so he can grab that early expand. It would appear so. Perhaps he just wants his gateways closer to his opponent to start sending his units across the map. Either way, it is liquid mana. His opponent in the green color on the bottom left side of the map. You can see that he's the Zerg player. He is from Alpha X. His name is Hino. Some people might accidentally say Hino for a little bit, but of course we all know that it is Hino. Oh boy, did I actually... One second, guys. I saw that I am losing some frames here. Let me quickly try and fix that. Alright, that should help out in this situation. Alright, hopefully that won't occur anymore. Um, I don't have any sites anymore, though, on the chat of Twitch. So, I'm sure Sushi will take care of that. <laughs> Someone else, please keep an eye out for that. You know, having his third base location as his second base... Because mana was a little bit annoying with that probe at the start, blocking that location, of course. And mana deciding to go for the Stargate opening behind this as well. Already chrono boosting out those adapts. It's gonna be extremely annoying here for Hino. With the very, very early on aggression. Even gonna be able to save this probe, I would assume. Oh, there we go. Yep, does put his adapt in front. Oh, my dear lord, is it too little too late, actually? No, it does appear like the adapt should be able to do this, right? The probe already filled up with shield as well again. And there we go. Second adapt joins the fray, and there it is. Uh, we are seeing, actually, Hino. Holy moly, am I missing this a little bit. All right, there's a Bailing Nest on the way. Zerklings moving across all on the bottom side of the map. So taking out those, what was it, four or six links? Let's quick take a Four links, right. Four links, not as devastating as six links, but still, don't want to lose those links. You want to have as many clumped up as possible, of course, here for Hino. Hino, as he is going to try to engage here with a lot of Zerglings after trying to bust down this wall. Mana though, so far looking pretty solid. Actually just, oh my dear lord, there is an Oracle already right here available. Targeting down a Morphing Baneling though. The Baneling is going to hit those pylons. Completely depowering everything that Mana has. Mana, can he get the re-wall off in time? Yes, he can. And I think got there a little bit too slow, a little bit too late to follow up the Bainings here. Gonna try and target down the Cybernetic score. That would be a good first kill here. But Mana with his two Oracles, it doesn't appear like Dino has enough to break through. Very unfortunate for him. It looks like his aggression is gonna be halted here. Quite heavily so. Still doing his best. Killing off the cybernetic squad. But look at this. Still making more and more links. Really committing to this. Has to start doing economic damage. Rather quickly. Or else he will fall too far behind. Against our German protos here. He know. Can he do it more? Zerglings already softening up that shield battery. The other shield battery deciding to leave his other shield battery friend alone so far. Not helping him out. Maybe a little bit of a mistake here. Blowing it up. There we go. More Bamings joining in the fray. Come on. They need to start hitting those. Oh my dear lord. The target fire is pretty good. Pretty solid. It looks like. Oh he does get in. But only with five links that are already very very bruised up. He know on his last legs now, I'd say, still trying his best to make more links. And, well, I'm afraid that it just won't be enough. Making two more banings. Well played, being called. First game goes to Mana. Right. A little bit unfortunate there. 
Um, not the game I was hoping for. But uh, you know what? Uh, trying his best for a little bit of a quick early on aggression there. Hino, unfortunately, being absolutely swatted away by uh, Mana there. Mana completely aware. It looked like what was going on, at least in time. The Oracle scouting out those Zerglings, trying to move across the map. Making those shield batteries in time, re-walling off in time, having his adapts go back into the main base, killing off those circlings that were already running across the map, and then also, of course, uh, what else was there? Oh, right, yeah, the circlings didn't get on top of the this pylon before it was recreated, right? So, mana really quick on the draw there with his with his probe and uh re-walling off there very very quickly and efficiently and uh we saw that have a big blow on the attempt of aggression from hino all right we are hoping into game number two here it's gonna be cyber forest and we're just waiting for the game to start Guys, are you ready for this? If you are not well, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> we had a while before this match started, so you better be ready. Right here, right now, we're looking at game number two. We have in the bottom right corner of the map, it's the blue Protoss player. Holding off the Baneling Zergling all in. He is known as Liquid Mana. One of the better Protoss available in the European, European states, the European Union, the European region. But his opponent, though, quite a admirable, admirable, admirable. Admirable. I stopped being able to talk there for a moment, guys. But in the top left corner of the map, it is the green Zerg player. His name is Hino. And I believe Hino is the French Zerg player. He is from Alpha X, of course. I should know this. But you know what? Where I could check this is, of course, liquipedia.net. Just to make sure that I'm not making myself look like an idiot for too long. Liquipedia, of course, a wonderful place to be. Um, yeah, all right. He is indeed from the the France region. Uh, I don't. I can't do a real good French accent, as you already noted there. Of course. Either way. Hailing from Alpha X here. Of course, we do want him to do well. But as I was saying, yeah, I could check that on Liquipedia, of course. This tournament being hosted by Cynical Death and Kashim. Uh, two volunteer staff for the Liquipedia. Two amazing guys putting in a lot of work and efforts. And always willing to help out people like me that just don't know exactly what they're doing with certain things. And uh, very, very nice guys overall. Setting up this tournament. And uh, bringing us these amazing games. All right, already we are seeing Hino going for a quick third base. So a lot less likely already that we are going to see another Baneling all in here. Of course, that doesn't mean that it won't occur. We are seeing another Stargate opening from Mana. Mana feeling comfortable with his opening here. Can't say I blame him. The Adapt moving across the map. One probe already in position for re-scouting around. Perhaps putting down a warp in pylon here as well. Kind of curious what that probe is exactly doing there. Since the adapt is going to be able to do pretty much most of the same work. Is it just to scout out for a counter-aggression here? I'm sure like, there must be some reason, right? Mana doesn't do things just, just for... You know what? No reason, of course. Just for the hell of it. That's not in Mana's book of rules here for StarCraft 2. Oh well. Oh well. Perhaps someone in chat can say it and then we will all be enlightened by that person's brilliance. 
Two gateways coming down the Oracle. Was there already another Oracle on the field? All right, this is the first Oracle. Now, marching across. And Overlord is gonna get nice vision of this Stargate though, but it is rather, well, it's a little bit late perhaps. Uh, but just to be sure, he you know already making his spore crawlers. Gonna be ready for those oracles right here. Sees the adapts. Oh, might be able to get a probe. Actually, no, the probe does manage to get out there. And the oracle not even getting a single kill here. Gotta wonder if it did try to attack that queen or something. No, it did not. So, not exactly sure what happened with that oracle. Probably should have paid a little bit more attention there. Two oracles now available for liquid mana. Gonna go up to three oracles actually. That is quite a hefty investment into the oracle. Is it gonna go up to four? So it's a little bit of chrono boost left. Doesn't have the gas right now. I doubt he will, right? Four oracles, that would be that would be starting to be a little bit silly. But perhaps, you know what? Perhaps that is exactly what Liquid Mana wants. And that is a lot of Zerglings now marching fast. Actually, the Adapt's getting right on top of the ramp here with the Oracles as well. This is quite the hefty aggression coming out of Mana. Not gonna be able to actually, oh my god, those links are being forced back and forth. Not being able to get really on top of those steps and start dealing damage here. Completely obliterated here. Hino in a lot of trouble actually. Oh, these steps cancelling their shades. The oracles now hunting down the queen over here as well. Absolute disarray in the base of Hino. <laughs> Trying desperately to get some roaches out. And things are not looking so good for the French Zerg player here. Dab's not done yet. Going into the third base, looking for more Zerg blood, killing off more drones. And the Oracles as well in the main base still. Dab's getting out. I believe that was it for the aggression. So that is a, that's a lot of worker kills. So only 37 workers now remaining for Hino. Hino desperately trying his best to re macro up here. Now having a lot of roaches as well available. He might be able to do a little bit of aggression on top of the third base. Might be able to cancel that perhaps with the amount of roaches that he has. But it's going to be very rough though. I don't think he will. There's already an immortal here now looking at it. The three oracles as well are going to be able to deal with those circlings ever so quickly. So... He knows smartly retreats, but uh, I'm not sure if that is the ideal situation for him. It might be the right call not to lose those units right here because he wouldn't be able to do that much damage. But still, he is just in such a horrible spot right now, economically speaking. Losing even more drones here. Eight more drones go down. That is an absolute bloodbath. Mana now in a stellar position with already one point on the scoreboard in this best of three series. Twilight Council also created the Forge added behind this as well. Charge on the way. Oh, we're just going to see a big heavy... <laughs> Actually, he's already moving across the field before charge or the plus one finishes. He has the two immortals. He has the Stalkers and Hino knows. Hino taps out very quickly. Very unfortunate there. Again, for the Alpha X players, perhaps I should stop looking for Alpha X players to cast. Perhaps I am the bad luck charm, it, it would appear. <laughs> that is uh, very, very unfortunate.